guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a sit down makeup routine video showing you guys what I've been doing with my makeup lately. A lot of you guys noticed the very subtle changes that I made to my routine. So I wanted to just come on here and show you guys what I've been doing. And also I did get some new products from the Sephora VIB sale so I also put those to use as well. Let's get into the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. And yeah, all the products will be in my description box and I will be talking about them in the video as well. But you know, go enjoy the video. So to get started, I usually moisturize my lips first and I use Aquaphor to do so. Now we're gonna get started on the eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I do use the ABH Dip Pomade. I've been using this for a very long time. So I like to start off by just brushing my brows just so I can get like an accurate picture of what they look like. Then I'm just going to draw them on and I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can really see what I'm doing. So now we're up close and personal and for the majority of my makeup, we're gonna stay zoomed in. That way you guys can really see in detail. So this is my dip pomade as I said and I like to fill in the tail of the brows first. So like the end, so something like that. I like to start off by just filling that portion in. Then I will make my way to the top. And the closer I go to the top, I definitely use a lighter hand. So as you guys can see, it's really dark here because I was using more pressure. But towards the top, I'm definitely just using a lighter feathery movement. Something like so. And then I also turn the brush this way and kind of like do upward strokes okay so now that my brows look absolutely crazy i'm gonna go in with my concealer and this is from mac it's the mac studio fix concealer i'm just gonna start cleaning things up as you guys can see i do them very messy because i do know that i'm gonna go back in with the concealer to clean things up so i definitely do it a lot messy i could do them neater but i just feel like that requires more time and um yeah I don't have time. <laughs> so now I'm just going in with this dual sided brush here and I'm gonna use a fluffy end and I'm going to get to blending. So now that it's blended out the concealer, I'm gonna go back in with the brush and I'm literally just going to comb everything out again because I don't like when it has too much of a shape so I'm just gonna comb it out let the product get distributed a little bit and yeah it's gonna be quite okay so now on to foundation and I recently got the NARS foundation in New Caledonia this is the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation I've used this before in the past but um Let's use this today. Um, just gonna put little dots all over my face. So my right side of, of my face, I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and then this little thing that I was kind of born with. So it's just there. But I definitely need more coverage on this side than I do on this side. And before I go any further, this is the foundation that I definitely love to use as well. This is the MAC Matchmaster. One of my favorites, but let's use the NARS today. I feel like they're very similar, if I'm being honest, they are very similar. So just gonna go with my foundation brush and I'm just going to be blending this in. So now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty concealer in the shade 420, and this is gonna highlight my face. I'm just going to put this under my eyes. So like so. Under my chin. And my forehead. And then I'm just going to blend this out with my little I forgot what kind of sponge this is. I feel like it's a Sonia Cash sponge. I got this so long ago from Target. And I'm just gonna pat this in under my eyes. Usually I would wet my sponges, 
but I literally just sat down. I got up so many times for other things and I'm just not moving. So we're gonna use them dry, still works perfectly fine. So as you guys can see, this under eye concealer is definitely just a few shades lighter than my skin. Not much, very, just like a shade or two lighter. So now I'm gonna go in with my other concealer. It's it's by Fenty, but it's in the shade 380. And I'm just gonna put a little bit under here to kind of brighten the area a little bit further. Just a little bit more, because I do like a little bit more brightness. Ooh, it's absolutely pretty. It's so pretty. So here's everything up close, you guys, with the blending. And the glow from the foundation is actually insane. I actually forgot how bomb this foundation was. I literally forgot. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to go under my eyes here and just set everything. Usually I use a wedge sponge, but I left it right there and I'm not gonna go get it. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> use my beauty blender. I'm gonna be cleaning my brushes today anyways, so it's okay. And my nose and my forehead. Okay, so something like that. Then I'm gonna go in with my MAC um, Studio Fix Powder in NC50, which is my foundation shade. I'm just going to set the other areas of my face, um, you know, that is not being set right now. So now I'm gonna go in with my Natasha Denona's Contour Sculpting Powder. And this is what she looks like. She's nice and chocolatey. I love this product so much. I love it so much. I'm just gonna use this, lightly dust some off, and literally use the lightest hand to contour my face. And the reason why I don't really go crazy with this is because it's very pigmented. Like if you put any amount of extra pressure, mm -mm, it's gonna look crazy. So I'm just gonna dust a little bit of powder from my nose because I wanna contour my nose. And I'm gonna use like an eyeshadow brush, like a blending brush, dust some in the Natasha Denona thing. And literally lightly sweep the corners Nose contouring is literally like my weakest um, part in the makeup. Like that's like the part that I can't do the most. Always looks crazy, but I feel like that's okay. Ooh, did you get a rhinoplasty? No, it's Natasha Denona. <laughs> All right, a little, a little snatchums. So once we've done that, um, I pretty much just see what I want to do next. And usually I do blush. Um, I left my blush. Okay, I'm gonna go back over there and get the things that I need. Hold on. So this blush that I'm gonna be using today is from MAC. It's called Gingerly. I, as you guys can see, she gets used, okay? I use her. And um, I'm just gonna put lip right here. It's a very light blush. I feel like it doesn't, doesn't even show up that well, that like much, but I feel like I see it. It's like a very light and just like a very, like a light mauve. That's the color that I would describe it to. So it's a very light mauve blush um, on days where I'm literally just not trying to do too much. I love to use this blush because it's just very neutral and I love me some neutral. So once I've done that, I'm just gonna brush away all that excess powder that I used to set my face earlier. Um, now I'm just going to highlight using my MAC Gold Deposit Highlighter here. And I'm literally just gonna do the bare minimum, okay? The barest of minimums. Ooh. Okay, so now we've done like the face and everything. This is pretty much what I do for the face. I'm um, just gonna finish up by adding my mole back. As you guys can see, it gets covered by all the makeup. Just going to add her back. Okay, now let's move on to the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer here. 
So I'm gonna take that primer, yeah? And I'm just going to blop it in my fingers and put some on my lids. We're going to go in with this little baby eyeshadow palette. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I am very obsessed with her. This is what she looks like. She's so little. But she talawa, okay? She little but she talawa. She little but she know where she had do, okay? She know where she had do. She, she knows how to work, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to take this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take this little brown color here. And that's what we're going to put in the crease area and I believe they call this a transition shade I might be wrong but I think that's what I hear in all the tutorials like put a little transition shade in up here and blend it in I don't know but I just put this little brown color here however this brown can be a little bit like cool for me so I'll go in with this just to kind of warm it up a little bit because sometimes it's like a little bit too the, gr the brown that comes in the kit is is a little bit too like, I don't know, it's like a cool tone brown. Whereas I like a, a red kind of brown. So that's what I do for the brown shade. Do you guys see that? Then I take a eyeshadow brush and I'm going to go in with this gold color here. Now the shadow has a little bit of like, it's soft almost. So it's like a, like a almost like wet a little bit. So it literally just sticks right on. Like you really don't need to do any like you know like a spray to wet up your brush i mean you could if you want i've done it before but i just feel like it just intensifies it a little bit too much for my liking so i just like to just dip it in the pot as is because it has a little bit of um the shadow is even soft like it's not powdery it's like a it's like a soft consistency kind of shadow you see what i'm saying like if you push it it moves it's weird and you know it really applies and it applies very well so so now I'm just gonna go in with my eyeliner and I'm gonna line this bad boy and that's it for the liner I kind of keep it very thin and symmetrical like I like it to be the same size throughout the entire lid. If that makes any sense to you. So I do the tail first. So now once I've done my eyeliner, it's time to go in with my mascara. And this is the Boombastic Lash Volumizing Mascara from the company called D-O-U-C-C-E. I want to call it douche, but I don't think they would call their product douche. So maybe douche? I don't know. I got it in my Ipsy bag. I... It's like a volumizing mas mascara, so it does its job. And I also feel like it lengthens my lashes as well. Cause they really just be looking extra long when I use this product. Now for lips, I'm going to wear my Buxom lip gloss in the shade Dolly. You guys know I don't really wear a lip product, but when I do, it's always this. Like if you're ever guessing what I'm wearing, it's this. So that's pretty much it for my makeup routine, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Again, products will be in my description box. And yeah, let's go to the awkward model shots that I absolutely hate doing. But, you know, it shows the makeup more. So let's go. And after that, we're going to say goodbye. And thank you guys as always for watching. And I will see you in my next video very soon.